that is how how much do we have representing what one billion one billion dollar or how much you, you mean our sharing being five percent yes. how much money in the total yes. <laughs> okay and then again the prime minister did touch on something which was very critical and that was regional integration so how is the bank playing that role of regional integration in terms of development financing regional project beside the railway? I'll try to be very brief. Uh, Long-term financing, I think, is the first question. Clearly, it is um, the most valuable form of financing that an economy can get because the nature of infrastructure, industry, uh, requires uh, at the very least medium term, if not long-term financing. I think the wisdom of the, the founders of this bank was to create a hybrid bank that does trade as well as development in terms of medium to long-term funding. So we do short-term trade in terms of export-import financing. As you heard the minister, we've availed a, a revolving trade finance facility to the Ministry of Finance, which helps them to defiscalize trade finance expenses, which is a smart way of, of using the balance sheet of the government. But of course, that's, that's only one part of what we do. So for instance, we get involved in the cement project, as you've heard, Kampala Cement, we've supported real estate, we are looking at a number of other uh, projects that would require between 10 and 15 year money. So a bank like ours is able to do up to 15 years of, 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 of uh, long-term financing. It's, it's of course on a case-by-case -case basis because we have to match the sources of funding to the specific project. So if you were to look at what we've done here in, uh, in Uganda, almost half of what we've done is short-term trade financing. The other half is medium to long-term financing, and there's a lot more coming. So there's a, I mean, the, the, the link, the, the related question around the SGR that came up, that's classically a long-term uh, type of project. It's an infrastructure project that needs between 12 and 15 year money, and we uh, will be joining a consortium of uh, financial institutions, both commercial banks and development finance institutions, to provide long-term money. Uh, and, and, and you're looking at um, several hundred million dollars. And the SGR in question is, is the one that's going to connect uh, Tanzania to Uganda, to Rwanda, and to Burundi. That's the specific um, SGR that I was referring to. It's still early stages, but we have an in-principle uh, agreement to, to pursue that specific uh, uh, project. So that's just to give you a specific flavor. Uh, we would be looking at others. The Chinese, of course, have been very good to invest in the bank at a very early stage when the bank was still in its formative years. And uh, today we, we, we have a shareholding from China that is slightly below uh, 10%. It's at an 8% level. It fluctuates depending on all the other capital that comes into the bank. But it's very manageable. It's around 8%. The bank has a policy of diversification. No single shareholder can exceed 15%. So it'll always be a diversified bank because the wisdom of the shareholders, it was always designed to be that kind of bank. Uh, so that is always going to be um, uh, holding us in good stead. We work very closely with many other funders. In case you're not aware, we work uh, with European funders, the European Investment Bank, KFW, Agence France de Development. They're also pumping in hundreds of millions of dollars into this bank alongside the Chinese, including the Americans through US Exim Bank, US Aid, and, and American commercial banks such as Citibank. So we, we have a very diversified source of funding. So uh, we're clearly not the kind of institution that you might think suffers from heavy concentration from one particular source. It's just not considered to be good management or good governance to do that. And, and again, the wisdom of the governing bodies of the bank is to provide specific guidance to ensure that this is a diversified bank. I think the bigger questions you've raised around debt sustainability, maybe I'll pull back and allow the ministers of finance who have more wisdom on those matters than myself to speak. And if I need to p p pitch in, I'll do so. Let 
now we you talked about one of you asked a question about uh, the affordability of long-term financing i think you have answered then uh, i will answer the question of big loans we cannot service i can speak for uganda every time we take a loan we measure ourselves very cautious uh, now our date to GDP ratio is about 38 uh, percent and uh, ideally it should not go beyond 50 percent. The only big money I'm looking forward to borrow is one for the standard gauge railway. So we are very cautious. We don't recklessly simply go into borrowing. We look at the terms of the loan. If it's giving us concession terms, we, sh we clap. If it's giving us a longer period, that's also very nice because it gives us a chance to, to use the money to make the economy more productive and then generate more revenue so that we can service it without any, any hitches. So as far as we are, Uganda is concerned, there's no problem, there's no worry that at any given time that we will be able to borrow beyond what we can finance. No, not this one. Go and tell him there's a book. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the agenda. The agenda. Uh, as the question you asked, what is the to what is the total value of Uganda of Uganda of Uganda shares in terms of money? I'll answer that question in a few minutes. Okay. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Maybe the Minister of Sessions. No, I would just like to add that uh, you see, uh, TDB is a business. You know, so uh, any business has to to make some some profit, and in fact, uh, the results that has been announced indicates that uh, TDB is a very uh, a very attractive and a very competitive bank for trade and development. Because at the end of the day, it's the cost of money that is important. And they are competing. And yet the results, like we indicated in the last five years, TDB has put into the economy uh, 15 billion US dollars. So that result in itself indicates to you how credible, how attractive, how competitive TDB is as a bank and uh, as we've said I think uh, it's greatly in part due to the to the competency the diligence the hard work of uh, the CEO and the staff of the bank so that's one point which I think I need to to stress on thank you thank you very much uh, due to time constraints I think you have to go to your closed session um, I'm here. We have a lot of communications officers here. We can help you out with any more information you need. Uh, thank you, Honorable Ministers. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you very much, members of the media. Nekoragana, Navy of Suzi, Mobitundu, a Yama Katiga, Africa, Noko Kida, Kazi, South Mita Mugan. Eh, I'm a Serengeta. Maybe so, and Nakanya and Korea Fenty, Bulimwaka, 
tufuna olukiko luno etuwe kuba mutochi ebintu bitambo de bitya amagoba tufunya tukoze genkana wa tukaga batukagaba ne tulaba nensi ne sente engereje tu esere zote tuwaoze zivude bulungi obati zivude bulungi naye kati cha sanyo kwategeza ti umwaka kuno ogusembyeyo e banka ikoze sente nungi nyo magoba kumpita million 10 mwa 2 e bilion no million sente za za America no lwe tukoze bulungi kulaba entambula ya banka ngabo bade okufema bega tukoze bulungi nyo ekirala e, 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 buli mwaka wetu watu watu genze mbagami buli mwaka tugenda mugwanga edina shares oba emegabo mugundi mu bank eyo mwaka gwaita twali mu series kati mwaka guno omupya tujja kubera wano atoku na dilira tujja gendeze zambia so kati minister we byensimbi gwange eliyo wetu watu tubadde wetuera no rukiko ya kwate ya kwate ntebe ya kulembera ntebe oba akachiko akafuga banke ha o tufunira muwa o tufunira muwa nginyo e tufunira zingaba tuwala sente ezo kuteeka mu projects kakati kama we ekyo kulabira ko wali u company mu bagita Kampala Cement nenda la wezili nyingi na yeka mbakubuli kwange yetero nokula bikano na kumpe Kampala wano baji wala sente kuongelo kubungi wa seminti kilala mchiju kila kubungi kiali maulile dola ze milioni bibiri ze tuwe wala yo ukutu ya amba ukulaba anti budget ya fe tukitamu za kubungi nyo nukulaba anti siringi ya fe teserebie kubanga sente ze zitu ya amba na dale bitongwe bya government byagalo byagalo kuleta ebintu kubebwe nga byetaga dola tubakwatirako etubako ku sente zo naye tuli tuli bake no elimu elimu gonde mu 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 byo bulamu elimu byo bulunzi no bububi ne bintu efana byo tebikola kulanya gwanga no na masomero mhm eh otutia zetuwe wala Ukutwali la wamu, wii bulungi nyo, bulungi nyo tu 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 kana loka tusalawo e, kakati okay simplifying a muluganda rwangu rumeni ne budget full no eh egwanga lyo nabwe libanga liyewola teri nakusuka ku kimu kya kubiri ku bugaga bwalyo bobera wansi wo bugaga bobera waguru ku bugaga bwo okusinga kimu kyo kubiri ojoka rubirwa ku sentezo okola ki okuziwaye na ifwa mu Uganda tuchali bulunji kati ku bitundu kikumi fe tuchali kwasa tumu munana babaze thank you thank you thank you, thank you very much <coughs>